Hi, it's me, Hello V, and welcome to the fifth episode of my Road to Mac series. These are my current stats, and in this video we're going to be training some construction and hunter. The goal for this video is going to be reaching level 93 in both skills. Will we make it? Who knows? Dude, this skill compared to runecrafting, oh, it's heaven. <laughs> it's so chill, man. It's so AFK, and look... Well, the, the XP an hour is horrible uh, because of my playstyle, of course. The XP an hour could be like around 100k, you know. It's, you're not moving the camera around, you're staying in one place, you don't have to bank. It's just, oh, it's so chill. After runecrafting, I'm enjoying it. It's good. And after this, look, look, 99.9%, .9%, only one gorilla. Is it a gorilla? Manacle monkey, it's not a gorilla, what the fuck? But yeah, after one of these cunts, we're going to be level 91 hunter. Come on, just walk in there, eat the banana. Let me see, let me see it. Nee, nice. And that is one skill over level 90 okay again don't look at the xp rate in Ari because it's much much more than this but oh 600k gained in one day not even a full day but like yeah pretty much a full day of gaming beautiful but now it's time for bed mm -hmm. and with this final click we're gonna be at level level 92 3 4 hunter yay any unlocks no unlocks that went fast and yeah, I'm looking at my skills and now it is getting there. Slowly we're getting there. We're almost at two, well, almost. 2200 total level is getting closer. We're not almost there. I think right now the levels are really getting tough. Although I still have like fire making and fletching, thieving maybe. I still do have some quick skills that I can quickly get some total levels. But yeah, we're getting there. Oh, 250 million. Oh, and I forgot to mention, look, I got a monkey tail, which is... Wow, look at that smooth wiki transition. It is actually Medical Monkey Hunter 1 in 5k. Wow. And of course, as always, we're still AFKing some woodcutting. So here is level 96 woodcut. Right, but now it's finally time for some construction. I've been setting this off. How do you say this? Putting it off. I, I did some Slayer in between after the Hunter grind. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> and you're spending so much money if you're not doing it with Mahogany Homes. I'm like... Yeah, mm. but yeah, the XP an hour is very quick, so it's it's not that bad. I, I, I started at level 90 today, like not even this morning or something, just in the afternoon I started at level 90. But yeah, we're about to get a level. This isn't, no, 220. Do we get 220 XP from this table? Do we get 200 terminal swings? Ooh, we do. Hey, hey! 91 construction. Yay, any unlocks mode or a junior box in the just to do a quick comparison, right? With GP and uh, XP, GP per XP. This is Mahogany Homes, right? Uh, well, first of all, the estimated XP an hour is almost 200k. Yeah, it's a bit less actually. But still, it's high. It's up there between 150 and 200. It's nice. But the GP per XP, let's see, expert is 6.3, which is still a lot. I do not like that at all. 6.3 is actually more than I thought. <laughs> Fuck. I thought it was going to be 2. And it's 6, 6.3 even. And when I'm looking at like mountain mythical caves, which is way more XP, like more than double the XP. It's it's around seven, like, yeah. Hmm. I tried doing the normal construction way with the mythical cape and the butler and shit, but yeah, man, I'm just not a fan of like the menuscape. The, the, the same stuff happens when I'm trying blackjacking. It's just those menus and right clicking and nah, dude, nah. Okay, okay, I know, I know. I, well, I was supposed to be training construction, but I just, I just needed a little break, you know, so. And Slayer is just a very long-term project. I really need to be training Slayer more because it's by far the most toughest skill to get level 99 for me personally. So yeah, just chipping away a little bit. And we got 100k XP, so that's good. And we're doing a dang enough task, which is also very good. But of course, we also trained some construction today. I'm gonna, how do I move it? I can move it like this. Look, we got 200k construction. Yay. Look, oh, it's gone. <laughs> But there's a new Virgil Ray, level 102, yay! Ah, feels good, man. Okay, let's talk to Larry, Mr. Larry. I finished the work, and there is level. Yes, I love a kappa. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, 92 construction. Very good, very good. I have ascended, by the way. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but I'm actually like listening to Ian Taylor, is his name? The, the guy who makes the old school RuneScape music on Spotify. <laughs> yes, I like it. It's really comforting. Yes. Ooh, a jet task. Yes! That's good. A wise choice. Thank you, dear daddy. No, 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 no. <laughs> I misclicked. Mm. Abyssal demons. Okay. Ooh, what the, what the, what the, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. An abyssal dagger? Bruh. 
I wanna know the drop rate. I wanna know the fucking drop rate right now. What the fuck's going on? Where is it? Well, why can't I find my Google? There it is. One in 32. That's my rarest drop. Well, maybe I got a, I, I got a D spear from a, from a Black Knight a very long time ago, but this is, this is up there with the, oh, and I, and I got third age once from a hard clue, but this is, uh, yeah, this is definitely up there with the rarest drop I ever got. Wow. That's kind of cool. Yay. And he healed with his final table. I first I remove it. I click, I build. Nice, okay, but now we talk to Mariah. Let me see. Yes, I'd love a kappa. Hey, 93 construction. Oh! Uh, but we have something. We have reward points. I have no idea how many we have. Oh, what's her name? Amy. That's it, that's it. 2.7k. Okay, so I could just buy the full outfit, right? That's a thousand. Yeah, I could. I don't want the outfit. I, I just don't want it. I just nah. I like my little, you know, my little looks of like minimalism and my little little bootsies and yes, like sure, okay, it looks decent. I'm using the the Fashionscape uh, plugin or whatever it's called just to check it out how it would look. But you know, nah, just nah. I like this. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. No outfit, but that means that we can buy supply crates. We already have the Osidious blueprints. We have the plant sack. I don't care about the saw. Maybe the saw could actually be cool. Nah, again, again, it's like, nah, nah, nah. I just, I look, look, yes. So all my points are going into supply crates. Yeah, I just wanted just to show how much you get out of it. So one supply crate is 10K. You get 25 points for one supply crate. So that means like roughly around 400 GP per point. I have 2.7 points, that's not much. Is it gonna be a... I think it's just going to be over a million, but I just wanted to, uh, yeah, do a little calculation. Yeah, just over, you know, just over one mil. So, but, you know, I want it. I'm kind of wondering, does it stack in your inventory or does it just fill up completely? Or do you have to, let me see, confirm supply crate. Ooh, okay. So I click one away. What happens? Ooh, they don't stack. But it's only going to be like four inventory. So that's okay. Hee <laughs> hee, look at them. 108 supply crates. That's all. That, let's just open them. Do I need to get more inventory space or can I just do it like this? And there are the final ones. I have no idea if this is going to be worth 1 million. Okay, here we go. Would it be 1 million and 80k? Whoa, so close. Well, that's cool. 1 million back from the... I don't know how much we spent. Right. But I think... Look, I'm, I'm being a good boy. I'm doing my battle stage. Please. But uh, yeah, this is probably going to be the end of the video. I'm not sure how long this video ended up being. I have no idea. I think it's going to be quite a bit shorter. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I'm not sure what I will do in the next video. Tomorrow is Volamore, so I might check that out. Who knows? Who knows? It's for next videos. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching and 